I am back you guys with a new DIY. We're gonna make a giant peanut butter cup. Super easy, no baking, no cooking, no nothing. You need a microwave, you need peanut butter, you need almond bark or some chocolate to melt. You need a tart pan, powdered sugar, a bowl and a spatula. That's it folks, super easy, super fast. Your kids are going to love it. You're gonna need two cups of peanut butter, one and a half cup of powdered sugar, two pounds of bark, your tart pan, and your bowl. That's it, let's get started. All right, so right off the bat, I got a little bit of plastic wrap to put on the bottom of this tart pan because the bottom of it comes up. So I just wanted to make sure the chocolate was not leaking underneath the pan. So I did that. I should have cut it a little bit smaller, but oh well, it worked. So here I have my almond bark, which I was a little nervous to work with because I felt like it was going to harden on me really fast, but it didn't. When you are melting this in the microwave, here's a little tip you want to melt this in increments of 30 seconds and once it's almost completely melted decrease that down to increments of 10 seconds and you want to melt it down on defrost do not melt this down on full heat because it's going to damage the chocolate okay so in the microwave it goes and I'm not doing all the chocolate at once I'm doing a little bit at a time so I'm making just enough for the bottom of this pan here it is, all melted, it was perfect. It was easy to kind of smooth around. So I'm just putting it here. I do advise you guys work a little faster than I'm working here, but it wasn't too bad. You guys have time, so we can all kind of relax and just spread it around really, really well. I made sure to get the sides or the walls, you know, up the side of the peanut butter cup because I wanted to make sure that it was sturdy and it held up this giant candy so I really focused on making sure that the sides of this peanut butter cup had a lot of chocolate there I didn't want it to be too thin and then it crack once I took it out of this pan so this was the first layer you're gonna do two layers of this chocolate to kind of set the foundation of the bottom and the sides of your peanut butter cup I did take my time on the first layer just because I wanted to make sure I had enough chocolate in all the right places. You also want to shake it around, make sure that the chocolate is evenly distributed through the pan. I shook it a little bit, I dropped it a couple times just to make sure, and then into the fridge for about 15 minutes. Here it is 15 minutes later, and it is set and ready for layer number two. So here is my chocolate, my small little batch. Now this one dried a lot faster, you guys, than the first one I did. So for this second one, you guys need to work a little bit faster than I did because you can actually see the chocolate actually change color and texture. I'm here in one second, I think you'll notice it. But again, I'm making sure to get the sides really, really well, get the bottom really, really well. I wanna make sure that everything has enough chocolate so that I have a sturdy, firm chocolate. And you'll see it here, look, look how quickly it's drying. You can actually see the chocolate drying while I'm still spreading it. You see it right there? Boom, dry. That layer went fast. Now, back in the fridge for 15 minutes. Look at it, it was completely dry already. You still need to put it in the fridge for 15 minutes, but I'm just showing you here how it just set as I was still spreading it. All right, now into the fridge. 15 minutes. I was getting excited. By this point, I was excited. Okay, peanut butter time. So two cups of peanut butter, one and a half cup of powdered sugar. You're gonna just mix those together. Now put some elbow grease into this because that was tough, I was sweating. That peanut butter was tough. All right, peanut butter is all blended. My chocolate is set. Now we're gonna put the peanut butter in the peanut butter cup. This is when I got really excited. Like it was all coming together. And seriously, I mean, 30 minutes later, 15 minutes the first time, 15 minutes the second time to set the chocolate. And here we go, peanut butter in place. 
spread that out evenly make sure again to go all the way to the sides all right got it look at that how exciting this is when i was like oh my god this is really gonna work it was so perfect and it is so big i think i could have put a little bit more peanut butter in there but i was okay with it it was fine so into the fridge for another 15 minutes just to give it time to set and also give me time to melt the chocolate that I'm going to pour on top. All right, chocolate ready, peanut butter ready. It's time to put the top layer on top. It's going to take the two packages of that almond bark, that chocolate. It did take both of those packages to complete this project. So make sure that you spread that out evenly all the way to the edges. You want to make sure that this stays together when you pop it out of your tart pan and then shake it, shake it and drop it to get all of the air bubbles out. I drop it a couple more times. I just wanted to make sure that the chocolate was even on top as well. So perfect. There it is back into the fridge for another 15 minutes. How perfect is this thing? Look at it. It was perfection. And then popping it out of here. Look how easy it is. Look. One, two, three, boom, it's out, done, project done, you guys, too easy. This is easy peasy, easiest DIY I've done to date. You have to try it, you have to. If you try no other one that I do, try this one. Look at it, it's a giant peanut butter cup in 35 minutes. It was beautiful, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Your kids are gonna love this, it's super easy. It was super cheap to make. I mean, the pan, the chocolate, the peanut butter, it was a beautiful thing. If you have enjoyed this video, if you think this is a cool giant peanut butter cup, I want you to leave the video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Again, leave the video a like if you want more like this. See you in the next one. Bye.